So I got some roses from a Ghanaian owned company. She based in it, but you can come in. <laughs> and I put me in the video. So yeah, I got the uh, this whole bouquet from them. I actually saw it for Rita post it and I'm like, I need to get these roses. And also the supporting Ghanaian owned businesses. So there we go. So it comes in this it comes in a bouquet. So this is how it came and then they put it in some water. Um, which is brilliant. I'm just going to cut off like the stem so it's it fits perfectly into this vase because it's too long right now. I don't like how much leaves it has all around it. But yeah. I'll put their details in the description box so if you guys want any roses. They're grown in Ibri, so yeah. Um they have different colours. They have red, they have pink, they have pink mixed with white, and then they have these white ones. This camera after you get this camera, I think get the camera is even more in the whole. But I haven't got the camera ever since I got this one. Am I right or am I right? So it also comes with four food for the plants. And um, which is it actually reminds me of when I got flowers in the UK. It always came with plant food, which is good stuff because Okay, so whenever my husband got me flowers, it always came with this, so the plants can last longer. It will. <laughs> so I'm going to chop like three quarters of the stem. I actually read online that if you want the, the actually I haven't put water in the tea. <laughs> I need to put water. Okay. The so wise thing to do was to take. So I fill this with water and I'm going to just chop up the stem. Okay, so I just chop it three quarters of the stem. And okay, I think this is good. I'm going to cut off some of the leaves. I'm actually really proud of my little arrangement. This is my first time arranging flowers. I don't think I did really bad. So this, I don't know if I should leave it on my dining table. That's the internet, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if I should leave it on my dining table or if I should put it in my beauty room. So I just like pop it here. I think it looks way better here. Yeah, it looks really better. Like way better in this spot. <laughs> I probably move things around a bit and make it work. But anyways, I got some stuff from I got some stuff from Jumia. These have been sitting here for a while. I'm going to unbox them. They're all codes. I'm going to unbox them and try them on. And yeah, I'm gonna try them on with you guys. So you let me know if you like anything. This is my first time trying clothes. I haven't bought clothes on Jumia before. I pretty much was shopping online as I told you guys. And I saw the stuff, I'm like, let me just try these things on and share with you guys and see if you actually do like them or if I if I like them at all. So yeah, we're doing a try on haul today. I'm sorry I pushed you guys in this corner, but my screen keeps coming off, so I have to like put this shit in a way that I can see myself so I don't record anything out of focus. So these are the stuff. Cotton. The thing about um, the thing about Jumia is they don't have really good images, so you you are taking a chance buying this stuff. So it's pretty much this dress. I'll show you guys what it looked online and what I'm seeing right now because this has pink and blue, but it looked like black and brown, I think. Okay, so this is the first thing. This is a loose dress that I thought would be great for like every day, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't like how it's looking. Oh, so they come from different retailers. So this is from a brand called Empress Fashion. Oh my gosh. Oh, they make the clothes themselves. I'm not even going to try and finish zipping this dress because I hate it. It looks like a Western Girls uniform. <laughs> Western Girls uniform. Like, it, the finishing is so poor. I guess, I mean, this style is actually close to what was online. I think just a little bit but the finishing is so poor like you can see all the holes in here I hate the fabric it's like 
it's like I can't even describe it's like rubber it's just a weird fabric I hate the fit I just hate everything about this dress I feel like this is like the perfect video to do what I bought versus what I actually got I look like a nurse first of all not that nurses like nurses uniforms are bad or anything but obviously that's not a look I'm going for <laughs> so, I mean to be honest this doesn't look so bad I, it just looks like a sack it just looks like a sack not all it looks like a sack but for some reason I actually do like it casual is very <laughs> you can put a belt in it you can dress it up for it to look cute some was cute but I tried two dresses on these two didn't fit at all the yellow and the blue but this blue is actually nice the finishing wasn't bad and I like the, the lace and the and the blue combination is actually not bad at all I'll put all the details of the dresses if you guys by any chance would want them but mm, not that I, I would recommend so I've, I came to Deca I've come to Decathlon to meet my mom and my sister because they're here to buy some stuff and I think I may just get something because yeah <laughs> I don't have any reason but I feel like when I enter the possibility of me buying something is very high so I got this from Maybelline it was part of a PR package that's my nose mask I actually like it because it's black but I feel like when people see me they think I work at Maybelline but anyways, I'm going to go in. Uh, if you guys don't know, Decathlon is like a sports shop. Is a sports shop. Their biggest shop is at Deca um, sorry, <laughs> at Junction Mall. Yeah, this is pretty much where I'll come to if I need stuff, like any sports stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go inside in a bit and see my mom and my sister. Hey, hey, Around when we need help, we call you. And a European company. What's all I mean? They actually have a lot over here. Self boys can you leave you here. <laughs> so Kweku and I went to this grill restaurant, which is an open space restaurant with like the best chill vibes. We went there for the steak and fish um session, which is like a, a fish board and then the steak is done on an open grill right next to right next to you so literally like the grill is in front of you and you have your own personal waiter that does the the grilling for you so you see everything that happens yeah when i tell you that this experience was so good listen the food was so good the meat was done really really well i loved it so much it was so tasty so the the meat that we had was the south african um sirloin ribeye t-bone and fillet steaks um, but they have other boards that they do. They have the meat board, which Quick was already had that he was raving about. They have the seafood board. So if you're, if you're um, a fish or seafood lover, you can absolutely go to this place. Um, yeah, so this was pretty much a really nice experience. It's a new restaurant with different vibes. I really appreciate the vibes. It's like, it's really good. Yeah, I 100% recommend you try this place if you're a meat lover. Yeah, you really, really enjoy this place, like I did. It's watch a Saturday in our house. <laughs> Why are you looking at me weird? I made this watch, I need to talk about it. Does it taste like watching from the street, like the good type? Obviously, because of Corona, I don't want us to eat out, so I try to, I try to recreate so I'm done plating the wachi. This looks like wachi from, you know, what you get from your local um, wachi person. I think I did a good job. I hope it tastes good. This one my husband obviously, this is mine. Um, so the stew has some tripe or really whatever you guys call it, and some meat, 
fish, egg, curry, spaghetti, the wachi, shit all. Yeah, pretty much done. Why am I so proud? I am actually really proud of myself. So the person whose recipe I followed online is Ghost Feast actually. She has some really good recipes if you like um, if you like to try her hands on local dishes. She has some really really good recipes. Yeah, we're going to eat this. Hi guys. Hi guys, good. Oh wait, is it afternoon? Yes, yeah, afternoon. Good afternoon guys. I just fin finished filming a video for Maybelline because I really like the mascara that they have recently launched. This is not even paid. Doing it for the goodness of my heart. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much um I have a bunch of stuff to do this morning. I have to change the water in the roses. I have to ooh. I already ate my washi that I prepared. Yeah, that was really proud of. <laughs> um, I have to go out and get some stuff. I'll be taking you guys through. Yeah, today has pretty much been a good day for me. I've just had a lazy day. Nothing has actually happened. Oh, I got new puppies too. Let me show you guys. My little Coco and my little Buddy. I think I'll change Buddy's name to Scooby. Yeah, let me show you guys my puppies. It's me. <laughs> Don't bite me. Coco sits. Coco sits. Oh, good dog. Roses are opening up really nicely really really nicely but obviously the one had to be naughty and try and die out um uh, yeah let's hope now that i've changed the water um it will open up as nice as these ones oh my gosh I'll show you guys some um, things that i got for pr <laughs> sorry <coughs> these are for from ren clean skincare I don't know if you guys know this brand, but it's very popular in the UK. They send me PR, they send me PR products all the time, which I'm really excited to receive because their products are really, really good. So also if you're in the UK and you want to purchase, um, I think they're shipped to Ghana. I'm not quite sure, but I'll double check with the team and see if they do ship to Ghana. But this is actually like the old packaging, <laughs> which they've replaced with this one. This is um, the Ready Study Glow. A H A lotion tonic. Yeah, so this is pretty much like a toner, but it does like good stuff for your skin. I'm not going to use it and see how I like it, but I've had like some really really good reviews from this. I think going to give my sister probably this one, <laughs> one of them, because it's the same thing, just different packaging. So I give my sister one because she wanted the toner. Okay, yeah, so she's getting one. I'm going to finish up the vlog, wrap it up, and yeah call it a day <laughs> i've basically done nothing today just try to shoot some content i don't even think i really like i don't think i like anything that i was able to shoot but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my vlog um the next one is going to get better I'll be more interesting <laughs> fingers crossed i'm just trying to get myself back into vlogging so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next vlog bye